Shalom. The topic of the Messianic era has been a source of debate for our scholars, sages, rabbis for millennia. There are rumors that there will be world peace, that traditions of fruit and vegetables growing everywhere, food aplenty, there won't be famine, disease, illness anymore. It'll just be this wonderful existence where the dead come back alive and there are family reunions that are thousands upon thousands of years old. All these amazing pictures that are drawn. And the question that really we have to ask ourselves is, what is a bit, what what are the true traditions of the messianic era and what does it mean to us and what's fascinating is with all these things that the rabbam you know dispels a lot of these notions and says that nature won't change and it'll largely be about world peace there will be world peace and there will be a recognition of god's existence but the really main thing that will change is that it won't be you know miracles anywhere but rather what will change is this notion of the Gentiles' pressure on the Jews, what are called Shibud Galios. That won't, that won't exist anymore. The idea that what we see all the time throughout our history since our exile from the land of Israel, and even upon our return where we live now, but we have pressure from the Gentiles, whether it's you know, how to conduct war or how to conduct our finances, but we're always subject to this, uh, to this large pressure from, from the Gentiles and, and from the rest of the world. That will go away at the time of Mashiach. At the time of Mashiach, the world will be fully supportive of us and never at all pressuring us to, uh, to do you know, action X or, or action Y. And the question is, what's the nature of this Jewish independence that we'll have? What's the value of it? And what we see from this week's Torah portion is the Jewish people are, we know, freed from Egypt. And they arrive at the sea. And we all know what happens. The sea splits. But what's fascinating is a, is a question that Cheskuni asks. The Jewish people are 600,000 able-bodied men of military age. There's about 3 million of them all together. But 600,000 men able to fight. And they're, they're matching off against 600 Egyptian soldiers and chariots. The matchup is 600,000 versus 600. The Jews should take this. The Israelites should have this, this victory with no problem whatsoever. So why is it that they're terrified, that they pray to God, that they, some of them say to Moshe Rabbeinu, we've got to go back. And the answer is because, as the Cheskuni explains, is they had this slave mentality. They saw their masters coming after them, and they said, oh no, we can't defeat those. Those are our former masters. And they didn't enjoy, they didn't appreciate the independence that they had gained. They still, still saw themselves as slaves. And until they could break free of that, they would still be scared of the Egyptians, even though the Jews were armed. Right? We learned that they were armed and they were more powerful and more numerous than the Egyptian army that was chasing them. But because they had this slave mentality they couldn't break free from, they were terrified of these a small number of Egyptian soldiers that were coming after them. And that's a similar idea that we have when it comes to the Messianic era. Jewish independence leads to the ability of us to innovate. Without independence, we can't innovate. We're always seeing ourselves as slaves. The, the idea of a messianic era, the value of a messianic era, as good as life is for us now, will be much better because we won't have this pressure from, from the outside world. We won't have this pressure from the Gentiles. We'll have this independence and we'll view ourselves as independent, not subject to the pressures of, of, the, uh, of the Gentiles. And therefore, we'll be able to innovate, we'll be able to experience our independence. And that's really the idea of a, of a freedom of a messianic era, of Jewish independence, Jewish courage that we see in this week's Torah portion, and hopefully very, very soon in a independent messianic era. Shalom.